Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 6, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great evening. You're ready to get after it today. It's hump day right here in the middle of the week, and we are going to ramp up earnings big time over the next few days and lots and lots of reports that could affect the overall market. So we'll have to really stay on our toes with the price action. So, so what's going on? Well, during the night, futures were kind of flat to just slightly bearish. But this morning, the futures have started to get that morning pump up like we seem to always get uh, anymore just pump and pump and pump and um, we have lifted up just slightly with the down now looking at a gap up open just kind of a modest gap open around 25 30 points at least at the moment as these earnings roll in so once again we're trying to give us give this a little bit of a push and it's being driven mostly by the dow a uh, little tiny uh, move up in um, both uh, the um, S&P 500 and the NASDAQ as well. So let's watch that pretty close. We have a big round of earnings uh, coming out this morning and this afternoon. So a lot of things could happen for today. I also think we have just a little bit of a pause here in the market. We've been gapping and just kind of going nowhere the rest of the day. As you can see on this 15 minute chart, gap up and just kind of drift around, gap up up and just kind of drift around uh, for the day and I think that's partly due to um, phase one trade deal I think everyone is kind of hoping that the phase one trade deal is a good thing for the market and I suspect it probably will be the problem is we really don't know what's in it and so there is some concern that we've already baked in to the market the or priced into the market um, what the phase one trade deal um, is when we don't even really know what it is so a little bit of concern over that and that may be why we're pausing just a little bit we may also be pausing and i wrote it in the morning blog this morning by the way there's always a link in the description back to the morning blog if you want to happen to watch that just look below in the description and it'll be there'll be a um, a link to get you right back to the blog. But the purpose um, of what I talked about is perhaps maybe the bulls are just a little bit winded. We've run, 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 run so hard and we may need a little bit of rest. And just to prove that now that we've broken out up here that we can actually hold this as support. So a little bit of consolidation, a little bit of pullback would actually, I think, build a bullish case for the market. For some reason, we're an all or nothing market, market anymore. We, we can't we're just um, all over the place and um, now breaking through this resistance we may finally move back into more of a standard pattern for the market where we have periods of rest where we actually prove support levels rather than just whipping up and whipping back down now giving having said that if I take a look and and draw a trend up here notice that several days in here of rest could actually be one of the biggest bullish things that we could have the market do just pause in here catch its breath allow the 50-day moving average to do some catching up and uh, that could be a very bullish thing for the market can't say that's what's going to happen and what i can tell you is what i want is normally what i don't get but a rest up here would i would see this as being very very bullish even though it might be a little bit frustrating you know if you take a look at even one of the the most bullish markets i can remember in um, recent history um, back in here on um, 2017 notice that we had long periods of consolidation we'd rally up strongly 
long periods of resting consolidation in the market as we moved up. So it really wouldn't be all that big of a surprise to me if we get back into more of that normal bullish type pattern that we get these really strong runs and then a little bit of rest. So we'll see. I'm not trying to predict anything, but right now it just appears like the bulls are just a little bit out of breath. They need, they need a little rest. <laughs> to uh, kind of catch up. So we'll see. Now, uh, of course, we have such a big um, uh, bunch of earnings coming today and tomorrow that that could change things. And of course, any announcement of a trade uh, phase one trade deal, if it's viewed as being very, very bullish for the market, could certainly change things as well. So let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, SPY. Um, this one is a little bit more of a concern to me because the SPY has separated itself, and I've talked about this a couple times, separated itself so far from its 50-day moving average. And you can see um, over in here, when we get that kind of separation, we tend to consolidate or pull back um, toward that 50-day moving average. So a couple little days of rest up here, we're still holding these gaps and the market and gaps below always make me a little bit nervous because we can certainly slip back down to fill those gaps but right now we're doing really really good here in the market so maybe a little pause maybe a little rest a little consolidation is just what the market needs to try and find that next place that we can bounce from we can pull up um, and just relax just a little bit allowing those averages to kind of catch up here Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, also same situation, really far away from its 50-day moving average. We've really, really pushed this run really hard. And maybe just a little bit more consolidation, a little bit more pullback into this trend is exactly what the doctor ordered here. I, I don't know, um, but it would be a healthy thing for the market to do a little bit more rest. Um, allowing that 50 to kind of catch up, provide some support here in the market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM uh, left behind a bit of a shooting star pattern yesterday, which suggests a little bit uh, more selling could come into play. But as you can see this morning, we're getting that morning pump up and we're trying to lift back up here just ever so slightly in IWM. One thing I do have to say is here, I'm just gonna draw a permanent line across here. Um, if you look at, look at this um, uh, downtrend, the positive thing about this move is for the first time we've actually pulled back as we broke out we pulled back and held it as support and rallied up we've also broke through this resistance level here in the chart so holding up in here any kind of a rest or pullback i still deem as uh, pretty darn bullish if we were to pull back and rest in here and hold because we haven't seen that in this chart for a long long time so holding up here um, would be bullish and i think could um, also add to to um, the, the overall upside pressure on the market if IWM can begin to move with the rest of the market. So let's watch that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX yesterday had just a little bit show, a little tiny show of fear trying to pick up just a little bit, but I, there was nothing here that really got any emotions going at all. Just a little pickup in this area. And this morning with that little bit of bullishness, we could actually see that slip right back down here. So what we do wanna watch is we wanna watch this level of support down here. It is indicating that we could be getting just a little bit complacent in the market. But so far, um, there's nothing in here to suggest that the bulls are not in control or losing control. The bulls are firmly in control and we continue to trend down here in the VIX, fear continuing to drop out of the market. Let's take a look at um, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And actually um, yesterday's uh, pullback, um, as you can see where we had the, just that little resting going on in the market, that little resting actually helped out a little bit, I think, um, on this idea of being 
up here in the bearish reversal zone where we might be just a little bit stretched, that little rest really opened up an opportunity that we could potentially move higher. If we get those earnings reports coming in really, really strong, we did open up that opportunity to to move on higher let's also keep in mind though that if we're disappointed in some way shape or form that we still have a big open space here to the downside so any consolidation if we consolidate in this market and don't, don't and stop this whip up and whip back and whip up and whip back if we can just rest here for a while consolidate we could see t2122 drift down into here and really open up a nice upside opportunity in the market can't say that's what we're going to get as a matter of fact I, I i would guess that what i'd like to see happen is not what's not going to happen but um that would be a nice thing and a bullish thing to see if we did get that little bit of rest let's take a look at um what's going on on our economic calendar today our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot going on here, but a couple things that could move the market around a little bit. We've already seen that the mortgage applications, once again, were flat. Uh, two weeks in a row, they've come in flat. That might be a little bit of a concern for housing numbers as we progress, but we'll wait and see on that. Uh, productivity and costs coming out here at 830. Um, they can move the market sometimes, uh, particularly if it's a, say, pr um, a big surprise from what the consensus uh, expects. But overall, not one of those really big market movers. And then we have the petroleum status report, which of course can move the market if it starts moving oil prices around substantially. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that. Also remember, we still have our parade of Fed speakers going on here and we'll wanna pay attention to them as they speak. Um, unlikely we learn anything more. And by the way, guys, I want to point these things out because I will be gone um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for the Traders Ex Expo in Las Vegas, so I won't be around for a couple of days. There won't be a morning market prep video on Thursday or Friday. So I wanted to point out a couple things here for you. Um, we have just a huge, huge round of earnings this morning, but tomorrow it's even bigger. We have over 550 companies reporting tomorrow. So be between today, tomorrow, and Friday, we have have more than 1,000 companies reporting. So you'll want to keep that in mind for Thursday and also into Friday. All of these reports could really move us around. So we're going to have to stay pretty flexible and focused on that price action for clues um, in the market. Um, we also have some bigger numbers uh, coming out here. Remember, we've got the jobless claims. Um, obviously, the, the natural gas report doesn't move us around much. Fed balance sheet. And then keep in mind, that consumer sentiment number top or ca kind of capping the week may be one of those bigger numbers on Friday to be paying attention to so keep that in mind um, I will be back I will be back next Monday I'm only only gone for the weekend really in Vegas so Thursday Friday the weekend and I'll be back on Monday so I apologize there won't be a morning market prep video um, but I want to wish you guys all great success uh, during that period of time. There could be a lot for the market to di digest, which means there could be plenty of price movement to make some money in the market. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys don't mind, if I could ask you for a favor, and that would be to click that subscribe button on YouTube. If this is the first time you've seen these videos and you find these videos to be helpful, please make sure to do that and then also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, you know tell me what you think about the videos tell me um, tell me uh, whatever you would like um, I do try to answer those as often as I can as many of those comments uh, it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and I want you to know that you guys are just awesome that take the time to do that thank you so much um, your positive comments um, are just 
uh, they mean the world to me. So thank you guys. Um, truly, truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. You guys are the best. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And I want to remind everyone that every time I point out a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. What we're supposed to do, uh, what I'm doing with these um, um, stocks is to show you stocks that have potential for setting up and that we need to watch and pay attention to them. Maybe put them on a watch list, do your evaluation, but it's really part of the education that I try to provide um, in these videos. So keep that in mind, not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. So with that in mind, let's take a look at LW. LW has been a very, very strong chart. I'm going to go um, well, I'll just leave it right here. You can see we've had this really nice, strong trend here in LW. And LW moving up um, and looking very, very good in this chart. So moving up, we've moved through this um, little area right here in that consolidation, trying to move through. We could see that pop on up here anytime. Keep an eye on LW. There may be an opportunity coming in here. And um, this has proved to be quite strong overall as a chart. Um, just really trending, 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 looking very good. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on, keep an eye on UNH. I've placed an alert on this chart, and even though we're kind of doing this sideway choppy dance um, what I want to point out is this is a substantial level of support um, that we have broken out of and now what we're doing is we're consolidating that trying to decide if that is going to hold as support we've had some pretty solid tests here of that but we can also see that we have not given up this level just yet so I'm watching this closely I don't exactly know when or how long this consolidation um, might break but I want to watch it pretty carefully and if it does pop through here I'm going to face that upside move and there could be some nice money in that chart if that does pop through another chart that looks very very similar to that um, is Costco take a look at Costco here I'm going to show you um, this chart here um, Costco moving up in this beautiful trend looking very very strong in its trend and what I'm seeing right now is we've attempted to break through this 300 level big round numbers are important to stocks a lot of times they'll either either serve as support or resistance and you can see we've attempted to break through 300 a couple times and just have not been able to hold that but now that we've kind of slid over here toward the major trend Notice our consolidation has tightened up considerably in here. And as we move closer and closer and closer to this trend over here, we want to be watching these bullish patterns. So right now, an alert right up here around 300, if we can actually pop through there, could be an opportunity coming here in Costco. Keep an eye on that. A very bullish looking chart, very bullish pattern continuing to set up here. And I think there may be some opportunity um, on the way. Um, as you guys know, um, JB Hunt is one that I have been talking about for quite some time. This was my price alert into the end of the trade on JB Hunt. And as you can see, moving up nicely here um, since this has alerted. Now, any this little rest or pullback, a couple little doji candles pulling back. I want to see that hold some support. Um, you know right in this area uh, maybe a little consolidating move in here and then pick up this trend in the next couple of days see if that can continue to move on higher keep an eye on jb hunt that's going to be important uh, transport's very important for a bullish market and um, love to see that continue on um john deere you guys know i've been talking about john deere and john deere alert that we had right in here moved up strongly popped up through there now we may be getting just a little bit of a pause a little bit of a consolidation could be coming in i would watch this right in here for any kind of a rest or any kind of a pullback the moves back into that trend for that next opportunity up in john deere so keep an eye on that um, 
the heavy equipment has really picked up here recently looking pretty darn good um, overall you know um, I really want to be a buyer of Disney here one of my favorite patterns of all time is when a stock breaks a substantial downtrend rallies above it pulls back to test it as support and I would be watching for a bullish candle in here um, on that chart you can see this morning Disney is looking for a little gap up here um, this morning trying to show some of that bullishness this morning if I were to get a nice bullish candle in here typically I would want to take that as a long trade but we do have a problem and that problem is this reports earnings uh, tomorrow so pretty darn tough to do that and I, I suspect this beautiful pattern will be completely messed up by an earnings report but I want to watch this closely and Disney's new streaming service begins on the 15th and um, I, I kind of have the belief that it, it may be a big deal. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. After the earnings uh, move, there may be an opportunity. I tend to not gamble around earnings. I just don't want to put any trades on something like that and because we've seen so many failures, um, uh, good patterns, and then just completely fail. Um, even on a good earnings report. For example, take a look at UAA. UAA had a nice little bullish pattern setting up here, nice little rally, was testing resistance a day ahead of earnings. They actually reported good earnings, but there was news that they're being investigated for some um, maybe questionable uh, accounting practices and everything falls apart. So that's why I tend to avoid those earnings reports. It's just nothing more than a gamble and I don't want to uh, gamble my hard-earned money. But I do think everyone should be keeping an eye on Disney. There may be an opportunity coming in that chart. So with that, there's a few charts for you to take a look at. Hey guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic rest of your week as, as we move along. Apologize I won't be here for a couple of days. For those of you who watch these videos I, uh, and, and just watch them every day, I truly appreciate that. Um, and I apologize I won't be here. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great end of the week. Have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Wish you all the best.